Hello my dear family members, in this video we will discuss a coding questions on count specific number which was asked on on campus drive 2022 but it's important for you because in this year as well same problem was asked in different way. In this year the question was 248 number so it concludes that previous year questions are also important for you. Now you can watch all previous year coding questions through the link given in the description box. Okay, so go through that and please subscribe this channel to get such content right okay let's see what is the question so the question is count specific number right you are required to implement the following function this the the function accepts two arguments m and n which are integers you are required you are required to calculate the count of number having only 1, 4 and 9 as their digits between the number lying in the range m and n both inclusive and return the same. Return minus 1 if m greater than n. Example, the sample input given here 100, the lower bound and the upper bound is 200 and the sample output is 9. How? This is explained here. Uh, from 100 to 200, only 9 numbers are there which actually contains 194 pair right so uh, 111 114 119 141 144 and apart from 149 no such digit should be included right so in such a way total nine numbers are counted that's why the output is nine right so similar way for lower bound one and upper bound hundred we have 12 such digits, 12 such numbers in which uh, only 149 contains like 1, 4, 9, 11, 1, 4, 1, 9, 4, 4, 4, 4 9, 9, 4, 9, 9, this way, right? Okay, I hope you, you have got this, right? If you have understood the problem, then start solving the problem by yourself, right? If not possible, then come to watch. Otherwise, it will not be helpful for you, right? Okay, let's see what is the solution. Before I proceed to the solution, I would request you to please subscribe this channel and go through the link given in the description box, right, to see all previous year coding question. Okay, let's just start solving the question. At first, define the function count specific number, right? Specific number. So m and n are the arguments. m and n are integer, right? So now check if m is greater than n, if so then return minus 1, right? That means it is invalid input, right? So check if m greater than n, so we will return minus 1, right? And now initialize the count of a valid number or valid variable 0, right? Okay, now iterate through the numbers in the range m to n, all are inclusive, right? So for that for i in range we have to go to n plus n right because this is not included n plus n that's why we will go up to the inclusive part of n right so num is equal to now at first uh, store the ith value into num that's why the actual value will not be incorporated right now assume the number is valid until proven otherwise right so is valid is equal to true right and now check each digit of the number while num greater than 0 check if they are containing 149 or not right so while num greater than 0 at first let's take a digit in which we will store the last digit of the value i mean of the number right so digit is equal to num mod 10 and we will now check if digit is con is in in among one for nine or not right so if digit not in one four nine we will update is valid is equal to false right if this happens that means if other than one for nine occurs then we will we will actually break the loop because we have no reason to go through all the numbers all the digits right uh, so now after the if I mean while loop you ha you have to mm, give this num is equal to 
10 because we have to decrease the value so that we can go to the next digit as well right okay now check if the digit is valid or uh, if the number is valid or not right so if is valid still false or true if it is true then count must be incremented to 1 right and after the for loop just return the count this will be fine right okay now just uh, write the driver code i hope you, it will be okay okay now m comma n is equal to let's take the input right so map in input dot split sorry okay now just uh, store the function function value in result that is specific number right specific digit or number count specific right count specific and m and n right okay just now print the result it will be okay fine okay now run the code i hope this will be proper right okay now for first input 100 and sorry 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 actually we have to space separated uh, right so for 100 and 200 the output is 9 this is appropriate and for second input 1 and 100 the upper bound so 12 is the output right so this is okay to see what are the digits or what are the numbers just print the num sorry i i the value you will see the value which are containing 1 for 9 right so for 1 sorry for 1 and 100 zero zero, you will see all the digits right so for from here 99 to 1 total 12 digits such that in which 1 4 and 9 are containing right other than that no other letters i mean no other numbers or digits present there right okay i hope you have got the logic right so if you think this video was helpful to you and you if you want more such content then please comment down and share the video and subscribe this channel to get such content right so thank you for today's session